Um, what got me into Pokemon was, um, so when I first moved into this house, back when I was, um, young, I was eight, uh, no, I was seven, um, I was once again, you know, that new kid, that new kid that just moved into an area where, you know, I know nobody and I had problems making friends. Where I lived originally was a condominium that um, was surrounded by old people and the only time I'd get to hang out with other kids was either A, at school, or B, when the old people had their grand grandkids visit. And that was it. Um, so, me as a social kid, that wasn't really happening. It's hashtag Pogathon, just like that, Laser Glow. Um, so the thing is, when I first got here, it was like 1996, so for about a year, I was just this outcast kid. Um, well, my mom works at a supermarket, the same one she still works at now, and, um, it was the, it was the early 90s, like 96, uh, 97 era, um, and sort of the thing that we all knew as kids, there was a fad incoming. We all knew that this fad was incoming. We all knew that Pokemon was coming and it was going to be big. We just knew. As kids back then, you knew Pokemon was going to be big, and we knew it was going to be something amazing. Um, whether it was through Nintendo's advertising or anything like that, we just knew Pokemon was coming and it was going to be huge. So, the way I was sort of, um, the, the way that I, I tried to be cool was before any major, like, Pokemon merchandise came out, um, Lunchables did a promotion where they had on the back of the Lunchables packs these, um, these, uh, little tiny... Pokemon cards, where you'd have to cut them out, and you'd give them out, and uh, they'd have, like, little facts of Pokemon on the back of them. And it was really cool. Um, so, I did that. I, I cut them out, and I took the little cards, and I, I took, I, I, I gave them out to uh, kids at lunch, and um, they sort of swarmed me and took all of the cards except for one. And the one card that I was left with was this little yellow Pokemon with uh, closed eyes, standing in a fighting pose. And this little yellow Pokemon was, uh, was Abra. And, um, I, I sort of learned about Abra. You know, I learned that he do didn't fight. He had no attack moves out of all of the Pokemon, you know, except for Magikarp. Which, even Magikarp learned to, f learned to move. Um, but Abra just didn't fight. He ran from battles. He didn't fight. He just wanted to be left alone, left to sleep, you know? And I kind of connected with that, because as that lone kid, as that kid who didn't have anybody, who just was sort of a separatist, I just wanted to be left alone. I didn't want to fight. I didn't want to get hurt. I, j I just wanted to be left alone, left to do what I wanted to do, you know? I was an introvert. I am an introvert. That's how I am. Um, so I sort of connected with Abra. Um, yeah, Abra can learn TM moves, but back then I, we didn't even have the games yet, so I didn't know what TM moves were. I just knew that, like, Pokemon learned attacks and stuff. Um, he was smart because he was psychic, um, because all, apparently all psychic types are smart. A and he was, like, reclusive. He, he didn't, like, do anything. He just wanted to be left alone, just wanted to be left to do whatever he wanted to do. He didn't want to get attacked or anything, you know? He didn't want to get, you know, hurt. And I sympath I, I had a lot of sympathy for him. I connected it. I connected it with him. I connected with him. Like, deeply. Like, because I had such a similarity to him. You know, I, at, during summer, like, summer camp, when we were just essentially set outside on a yard... All I would do was just sit down and just sort of relax in the shade and just sort of pretend I was Abra and take a nap. And that's all I wanted to do, because it was nice. It, it's kind of nerdy to say something like that. Abra was my, was my favorite Pokemon, was definitely something I connected with, was definitely something that I liked. It was, it was fun, it was nice, it was cool. 
And that sort of carried with me. And that sort of, like, the avenue through which I got invested in Pokemon was just this little guy. Um, ever since then, I've just, you know, been a fan of Pokemon. But my heart's always been with Abra, and that's why I have the username, A Wild Abra. Is because I always liked the Pokemon. So I decided to make that my username after I got rid of my old username of uh, Blade. But that's a, that is in itself a longer story. Um, I've, met, I've met both of my technically now ex-girlfriends through, uh, through the Abra account. Um, I've met a ton of awesome people through Abra. Not only in the Pokemon community, but in the Reddit community, in the Fun for Freedom community, and just on the internet in general. In a way, I do have to thank um, thank the guys at Game Freak for giving me sort of an avenue, a way to um, to be myself through this little yellow Pokemon. And uh, he's very close to my heart. It, it, I I do really like uh, this uh, this Pokemon. It's it's nice, man. It just connects with me on a deep level, yo. Word for real. <laughs> it connects with me on a level, man. It sounds like a stoner thing to say, but, you know. I just connected with him, and it, it just, like... Hey, Neko. That, that, that is sort of, I guess, my story with Pokemon. The way you're lying on the couch makes it look like it's therapy. Imagine if I had a card that wasn't Abra. I know in that pack there was a bunch of other cards, but I probably wouldn't have connected with any of them as much as I would have with Abra. Just because him and I were so similar. Or her, I don't know. You can't tell the gender. But, um... Uh, Xeno Dragon Lord, those are actually like the dragon, the, the, the dragons. Those are actually the cat ears that like read your brain and stuff. They're really cool. Like if you have them on your head, it's actually like a really, like it's really cool because they like monitor your brain and like respond to like reactions and stuff. Yeah, those are the ones that display emotion. Just seeing Abra with a giant beard, one of those mega spoons. You were left with Abra because of fate. I don't know. I could have been left with Abra because of a lot of things. I remember. I remember the first time I picked up um, the games themselves. It was from a friend. Um, and they actually were fighting Sabrina with a Kadabra. I remember that. <laughs> I was that was Billy who lived in uh, what you got hit by a spinner stood there and the second I moved spin to win the second I moved spin to win oh. he lived in Abington I remember that because I was sleeping over his house um, and yeah That was, those were certainly interesting times, man. It was, it's nice to look back on those times. Oh, for our smiley face, that, that's awesome. Yeah, the catching Abra in Gen 1 is not an easy task. Hey, Skip! Hi, Skip! How are you doing, Skip? Uh, there's an Abingdon in PA. It's Abington. It's local. If you look for Willow Grove, you could probably see it from, like, the map overview of Willow Grove. Because it's, like, the next, like, major town along the road.
Whoa! Neko donates twenty dollars, and I'm full of static electricity. Ah, gag, 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 gag. How do I do? I am doing just fine. How are you doing, Skip? We got twenty dollars from Neko Suteki. File name: Base Nick Timmons. $20 for base Nick Timmons. And please get a route to name it IMK and Shroomish after Zaki. Uh, let me get that in there. This is Pearl. Man, Spinner's too good. Um, I met Abra through the R Pokemon subreddit, and that's how I came into the FFF community. So yay, Lunchables! It's also a wheel spin. Thank you very much, Neko. River Dance. I'm playing. Oh, well, I'll do it then. Turn the music up a little bit. We'll get we'll get River Dance. Everybody downstairs now. <laughs> you okay? No. I'm not either. No, uh, no one's waking up, it's still just us. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna die for a bit. Also, Neko. I wrote down Routes as IMK. Okay. No worries. Okay. Oh. Really? Right before getting into really counterclockwise circle, and then she looks up the second I go to walk. This game is rigged. Yeah. This game is rigged. Spinner's too OP. <sighs> oh, thank you, Roar Smiley Face. Thank you for trying. We have people here. Take care, Smiley. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm gonna take a drink. I'm under my nourish. There's a website that tells you who loves you on Twitter. Who loves me? Apparently, Claire loves me. Hey. Different Claire, but okay, I'll take it. I got one. I'm gonna die now. 